not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. To show him that he isn't alone, and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. The forest grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moons. Does the light point the way to the child? It does indeed. Look at all the droplets of water suspended in midair. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... it's not right. No, it's not. Down in the centre. Follow me. He's still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon? I tell you, you were a madman. It's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. Oh. It isn't without his risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things unwell, and I've seen things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. Don't be afraid, little one. 
Let me bear the weight. I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. But something's wrong. Is everyone all right? He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time. But he knew we were here. How? I... I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone. Until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walius. I will make this right. So, part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good because I still have need of your strength. If 
you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Of course. To understand the spell which binds Walius, you must first know who we are, and what drove my forebears to commit such an atrocity. This tapestry is our story, the one that brought us here. After generations of wandering, my people sought refuge in Northeastern Storm some 170 years ago. But in exchange for our safety, the Gregorian Church demanded we renounce our faith and branded us heretics when we could not. To be exterminated as a lesson to others. And so was it chronicled in the Imperial histories, for anything less would have made the Church seem weak. Yet a handful survived. The few who did fled north and west, and in doing so discovered two things that would forever shape our fates. The first was an old legend, revealing how to make your very own Mother Crystal. I've heard that one before. Yes, yet it gave them new hope, however false. Our ancestors convinced themselves that they could recreate the Divine, if they could only find a strong enough heart. A living being capable of channeling torrents of ether. And the heavens provided. A dominant warriors. They'd stumbled across a nostrum in an ancient ruin, which they believed could provoke a sudden outpouring of a creature's ether. They meant to enrage his icon. Leviathan would have destroyed everything, had our people not made their second important discovery. A means to stop time itself. Where did they find that? The Northerners had no such magic, so they would have used them. When our ancestors first arrived, the land was uninhabited, save for an old witch who lived on the highest peak. Her body had been consumed by the curse a cruel payment for her long years of service to the Northern Thanes. So desperate were they to prevent the fall of Drake's eye, they'd forced her to devise a spell to stop time. But Drake's eye did fall. It did. When she finally perfected the necessary magics, it was already too late. As punishment for her failure, the Thanes exiled her to this forsaken place, to live out the few days she had left. Knowing her suffering, our ancestors cared for her as best they could, and in return, she gifted them her spell. That even though she should die, her legacy might live on. So armed with both the knowledge of the ancients and the secrets of time, our ancestors settled upon an ambitious plan they would create a new Mother Crystal and enchant it that it might endure for all eternity. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering, finally end and prosperity visit us once more. And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. A small price to pay, or so they believed. Another victim of man's blind reliance on the Mother Crystals. So we know the seal source. How do we break it and restore the flow of time? Do you recall the Dome of Light on top of the cliffs to the west? Inside lie the ruins of an old temple. 
It was there that the witch built the Vare, a conduit of sorts that channels her remaining ether into the surge. But it's been a long time since anyone set foot in the place. And now, there are others who claim it as their own. Then we shall go prepared for a fight. That said, it may be best if one of us stays behind. You think the village could be in danger? We saw the ether flow from Wallius in all directions, but only encountered a single familiar. There will be more. And should even one make its way here, I doubt the walls could hold it back for long. Then I shall stay. The Phoenix will see your people safe, Tributary. You have my thanks. Very well. We should depart at once. I fear time may no longer be a luxury we can afford. The Vare is not easy to find. We must first head north, and then west, deeper into the forest. Do you see that cave up ahead? Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. Don't eat me! I'll give you the whole life! Where? Stand back. I'll handle this. Yeah! Yeah! 